For 10 weeks, 20 RuneScape content creators will be competing for a massive prize. Along the way, they'll face never-before-seen challenges, brutal eliminations, and a couple of twists. Welcome to the Gillinor Games. Welcome back to another episode on this season of Gillinor Games. Yay. Four teams remain. After today, we're down to three. I promise. Unless there's another twist. We'll see. Four teams left. The same four from last episode. We've all survived this long. And at this point, I've cut all ties with everybody. No alliances from now on. I'm fully aware. If we don't win today's challenge, we will be going into the banning. And if we win today's challenge, we get free pass. So we just really need to win right now. Honestly, I have no idea how we're still here every single challenge there seems to be something messing up and we've been in the elimination now three times and somehow we're still here all of you have absolutely deserved to get to this point everyone has won a banning and put up some great performances winning a golden apron this late into the game is more important than ever we need to get an apron to feel like we've done well this season we haven't won a single challenge Getting an apron today would be so helpful. I'm excited to announce that once again, my friends over at Grip6, who provide the best wallets, socks, and belts, will once again be giving the winners of today a special prize. Ho ho ho, Master Soup has offered us a sock. Tom, you got eliminated. Why are you here? I thought season two was over. Aren't we on season three? No, oh, man, we're still trying to finish the season. Oh, sorry, sorry, my bad. How are you? E Never mind. If you didn't know, Grip6 has high-quality, American-made products that are a great gift to yourself or to someone else for the upcoming holiday season. They are the only sponsor to ever send me a personal letter saying they're fans of Gillinor Games and RuneScape. That alone should make you want to check them out. Their unique, easy-to-use belts look great and come in multiple styles and designs. They were even used in some recent space missions. Hey, Captain Kirk. You can change out the buckle or the belt loop for whatever color or design you're looking for. Their socks, made from the wool of sheep from the Rocky Mountains, easily the comfiest socks I have ever worn. And their anodized aluminum wallets, which offer RFID blocking for security, help keep all your cards organized and are ready to pop out at any time. As I mentioned earlier, everything is manufactured in the US and has a lifetime warranty on every product. They're fans of RuneScape, what's not to like? Check out their three-pack builder and receive 30% off your order, or choose whatever else you'd like and make sure to use code SOUP at checkout for 15% off. Last week, I told you all that you had a big task ahead. All of you have done achievement diaries before, and today, you'll be doing another one. Except it's a special diary. My diary. Today's challenge is called Diary Dash. I'll be giving each team the same 10 tasks from around the game that they must complete to finish my diary. To win, it's very simple. Just be the first team to complete them all in the shortest amount of time. The fastest team to complete the diary will receive the golden aprons, which means you'll be safe from elimination and get to choose one team to send directly into the banning. The team that completes the diary the slowest will automatically receive one vote heading into the banning. And let's be honest, a vote this late into the game is pretty detrimental. I wouldn't recommend getting last. Let's get this show on the road. As a team, your goal is to complete these 10 tasks as fast as possible. Kill one player in Last Man Standing. Create an attack potion from scratch. Enter the Dagonoth King's Lair. Claim a pyramid top at the Agility Pyramid. Loot a Barrow's chest after killing six Barrow's brothers. Craft a green dragon eye body from scratch. Kill Zolra in gear totaling less than 1 million GP. Catch a black Jinchampa. Kill any Revenant in the Revenant Caves. And finally, the one I know you're all going to enjoy, complete a full lap of the Rogue's Den minigame. So, now that you know the tasks, why don't you guys go ahead and get started? Your time starts now. I'm gonna do last man standing. Rogue's Den minigame? Rogue's Den minigame. I know Rogue's Den. I'm gonna do last man standing real quick. Okay, I'm gonna do the Rogue's Den minigame. Before you posted the thing, I basically said to Zulu, as soon as you read something and you know you can do it, do it straight away. Like, start doing something, and while you're doing that specific task, read the rest and think about the next thing to do. Complete a full lap of Rogue's Den minigame, no shortcut allowed. Oh no. Alright, I'm gonna do that one. I'm doing last man standing, top to bottom, lad. Right, I'll go bottom. 
when you sent it over, the plan was Dave was going to go from top to bottom. I was going to go from bottom to top from all the achievements which you sent over. Obviously, I prefer being on the bottom and Dave prefers being on the top, actually. We knew the diary wasn't going to be too difficult because me and Jen are, haven't got 99 and everything. So a lot of them very easy to do. I started at the top and Jen started at the bottom. But then we looked at others while we were doing the tasks to see who could knock off like a couple in one area. Uh, okay, one player, one player in LMS. I, I, can, I can do that. Right, I'm gonna go kill one play one player in LMS and get started on other sh Alright. Oh my god, imagine me and Tom Master like have to fight each other in LMS. That'd be so funny. The achievement diary super edition dropped on us straight away. No planning. We just have to go right into it. The first line I read is kill one player in last one standing. Stuff it. I'll just go and do that straight away while Gunstilly starts to work down the list and figure out who should do what. Okay, oh. kill one player in LMS. Uh, I'll go do that right now. Okay. You, you work on the other items, I'll just go LMS right now. Okay, I'm gonna do b catch a black chinchampa because I can do that box trap. I hadn't really registered what was going on yet. And Alex was already saying he was going to last man standing. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna start with the black chinchampa, the revs and the green dehyde body because it's all sort of around the same area because of black chins and the rev caves right there. And then there's a green dragon spot where you can get the black dead body. Oh my God, Torvest is right there. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm against Torvest, the boys. That's so jokes. I was in we're against each other. No way, I've spawned against Torvest. I cannot believe it, but I'm gonna go for him. This is my chance to get a massive leg up right here. If I can kill him, he has to come back in and try and get another kill. It's on. For the first minute, I'm like, okay, this guy's kind of pretty good. And then I realize it's solo mission. You cannot make this up. Wait, I've just realized I'm I'm fighting solo mission. I just realized. No way, bro. Kill him, kill him, kill him. What? You gotta, beat him. You gotta <laughs> beat him. If you beat him, you actually reset him. You gotta beat him. This is make or break because whoever wins actually sets back the other player literally like five minutes. Okay, when you enter the maze, okay. Sorry, I had stuff on me. Talk, talk. You know you're not allowed in. Oh, uh, it's because I've got the stamps with me. I'm an idiot. I'm gonna do Dagonoth Kings and then catch a black chin because they're the things that we'd have to think about doing. They just take long. And then we can think about the rest while we're doing that. I did not forget my pet rock. I kind of figured out that the first thing I should do would be to go for the Dagonoth King's Lair because I know the route very well. And whilst I was doing that, I obviously didn't need to bring any items with me apart from Staminas. So I could try and think about my next plan of action whilst on my way to the DK's Lair. I got a kill. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, what do I do? Claim a pyramid uh, top? I gotta do the pyramid top. Why yeah. not? It's just fast. I already have like... Yeah, go do pyramid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you just feel like you're not gonna beat... Oh my god, I'm so fucking laggy. I'm actually like this guy kill me. Yeah, I'm not gonna beat him. I knew Jen was never gonna kill anyone in LMS, so I went straight there. First round didn't go very good. I think I died actually, which literally wasted about three, four minutes. Bro, I'm actually not killing this Revenant Hellhound. Bro, can this thing die? I went up in a one item tent whip and I tried killing like a rev hellhound or something. And it just kept healing, it kept healing, it kept healing. I spent like three, four minutes trying to kill it. I'm so dumb. I'm gonna go kill something else. I haven't even killed a hellhound yet. Bro, we are so f We actually messed everything up, dude. The press is on now, I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, he's, he's getting some RNG right now, I'm not even gonna lie. Oh my God, this is gonna be close. Hit me through prayer. A 22 through prayer. You, nah, I'm actually done. I was hitting him off prayer towards the end of the fight. Like every time I was just hitting zeros, he was bolting me through prayer. It wasn't going well. I was like, oh, I've lost. Like, he's still got food. I'm out of food. No way. Is I haven't killed him there? Oh my god, he's got uber chanced. This guy likes to hit through prayer. I tell you that. He loves it. Oh my god, just bought him. Holy. Sh Just bolt him. Come on, just kill him. Zeros. Zero. Zero off prayer every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you following solo mission stuff? You lost. I'm about to. Nah, if I lose this, bro. Are you joking? If I lose this. Yeah. God, that was the best comeback of all time. You have no idea. Yo, let's go. Never give up.
I was out of food for literally a good minute. I was camping like 11 HP. I, I couldn't believe it. Wow. And we set back Solar Mish for five minutes. That means he has to go in a brand new game and try and kill them. Are you joking? If I lose yeah. this? No! Oh my god, he's on one HP for so long. Are you serious, bro? Oh my days. I lost from like, I was like 150 up on him for sake. There's no way I've just died to him there. What? I was just bolting him. Zero, 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 zero. He was like red barred for so long. Oh, that's just slowed us down so much. Like you have no idea. I was on 11 HP for like two minutes. No one. That was, we've set them back. We've, someone's got, I think we've, we've. Dude. <laughs> you need to fucking relax. No. There we go, finally killed him. Okay. Catch a black chin, I'll just give you that. I'm doing the Barrows and the Zora on right now with the same gear. Why don't you go for this back on prey? Right, I got the kill. I'm an idiot, search that please. If you make a mistake in there, it's like a four minute run. If you make a mistake like two minutes in, you then gotta add another run on top, another four minutes. It was a massive time waste. Oh my gosh, I just fell again, dude. The last time I did this course was probably Trailblazer League, November of 2020. And it's been so long since then. This thing is a long course. Pushing through will be kind of difficult. I'm being stupid. I'm gonna go do something different real quick. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go kill a Revenant. You're already there, though. I am already here. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Stressing for no reason. Zulu was doing the Rogues Den mini game <laughs> and he failed two times and he was like, dude, I don't know. I want to do something else. I think I'm going to leave. I was like, no, you're not. You're going to finish that. You're already there. Okay, so we've done the LMS one. We've done the attack potion one, right? No, I've not done attack potion. I've only, the only one I did was DK's. Okay, I just killed a Rev. I'm f I brought a Dwarven f***ing rock cake. What are you oh. doing, Dave? Just speak to the... The Fremmy guy. Is he I'm there? pretty sure I got it. I don't even have it. Oh, f me and Mamma Mary. Oh my god, that was insane. Go, go do D go do the TK's layer or something. Go do the DK's layer. No, you have no idea. I need. Bro, I don't care. That. I don't care. I do you have no idea. Yeah, I've done the chain. I've done the rev. I've done LMS. But I'll go to the period now. Have you done the revenant yet? Or should I do that? Next? Nope. You can do that as well if you want. Okay, I'll do the Revenant next. You could do Revenant and Green Dragon at the same time because you're already in the wilderness, maybe? Yeah. That's an yeah, idea? Yeah. Okay, yeah. go for that then. Okay. Uh, I'm doing Zulu next. Yep. Alright, chest on. Like, to be honest, we're in it. We're in the bottom anyway. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. I'm really... I'm not, oh, not to be... Bit of f***ing faith. Don't give me that sh**. You're f***ing doubting yourself. You doubt yourself. You doubt me. I'm not doubting myself, Dave. It's called realism. Oh, come f***ing I'm at DK. I mean, you're in DK's now. That's another task done. What Boom. Done. Two tasks done. Jen's doing the uh, the rogues mini game, which I knew was going to take him quite a lot of time. So I looked at all the ones that I could do in sort of one area. So the chin chomper, kill a rev, catch a chin, that kind of thing. I just knocked them out all together while Jen did the harder ones. I have entered the lair. I let it all out like the cap was loose. I bet they know me in my city like the capital. Crazy's on arrival, trust me, ain't no rivalry. Spirit's been inside of me, the devil right beside of me. I'm godly. Yeah, I'm godly. Hey, yo. Yeah, I'm godly. Uh, yeah, I'm godly. And I'ma die for this grind. Yeah, I'm godly. Eyes on the prize, I try to rewind. Stop the hands of times to give them a sign. But I grind like Tony Hawk, ride till the wheels is off. And I'm a die for it to pay off, damn. Yeah, I'm godly. Yeah, I'm godly. Yeah, 
I'm God and shine. Came in with for the sun till he found me. Yeah, I'm godly. I'm godly. If I'm alive, then I'm a shine. Yeah, yeah, I'm godly. Yeah, yeah, I'm godly. Yeah, yeah, I'm godly. Yeah, yeah, waiting for the sign till they found me. Yeah, I'm godly, 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 godly. Oh, I forgot my ring of recoil. F I knew it. Let's see if I can uh, kill. I can try and kill without a ring of recoil. <laughs> okay, just don't waste too much time. I had a feeling I forgot something, and in the middle of the Zura kill, I realized I didn't have a ring of recoil, so I had to teleport out and do it again. Oh no, I need a ring of well. I waste so much time. I knew I forgot something too. That's just dumb by dude. What am I doing after this, Barrett? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, it's be you're literally best off. Unless you've got any nightmare zone points. Do you have any nightmare zone yeah, points? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, okay, get the herb boxes. Yeah, do that. Okay, and then herb, get the eye of box. newts from... Where would I get a vial of water? From the place in Tavoli, right? Yeah, and the eye of newts there too. Right, I've killed Zora. I've killed Zora. F*** Quim. Come on, please don't f*** it up. Right, I got the guang bomb. I'm gonna go by the... Uh... Kill any revenant in the rev in revenant caves. Should I go do that? I'll do that when I do black chain. Uh, kills all right. Craft the green DI body from scratch. I'll do that. Originally, it was meant to go from they was meant to go top to bottom, and for whatever reason, I was like, right after I've done this, I'll make the green DI body. And he's like, oh, I'm going in the wilderness, so I'll do it anyway. And then I was like, oh, I'll do the chin jumper one. He's like, oh, well, I'm going in the wilderness, so I'll do that anyway. And I was like, oh, I'll do the rev cave one. He's like, oh, I'm going in the rev cave in the wilderness, so I'll do that one instead. So there I am with no f task to do. See, I could do that as well. Yeah, but lad, I, I need to do stuff here. Go, oh, you could do the barrier as well. Okay, I got a Guam. I got a Guam, nice. I had the genius idea, instead of killing a Chaos Druid for a Guam, buy the herb box from Nightmare Zone. Okay, I made the attack potion. No, I've done attack potion, I've done pyramid top, I've done green dehyde body, I've done chinchampa, I've done revenant. Can you do Rogue's Den? Please tell me you can. I've done it, I've did it on uh, Trailblazer Leagues like for my thing, so. Oh, I, killed, I killed Zura. Okay, sweet. All right, I'm yeah, doing do the, the chin now. The chin. Yep. So I think the only things we've got left a, uh, attack pot. You've done barrows. I'll do rogues uh, down after Zora. Do rogues, yeah, you go do rogues down after Zora. Tasks are going well. Had to switch locations for the Guam because the men just weren't coughing it up. And I don't know how rare it is from those. So I went to the trusty Chaos Druids and eventually got the drop there. Oh my God, I just got some <laughs> incredible herbs. Guam, yes, finally. Tom's doing really well on these challenges. Only one remains, which is rogues den. And I'm not looking forward to this. Okay, I've made the attack potion from scratch. What are you currently doing, by the way? Uh, Zora, I'm nearly done. It's nearly dead. Okay, I think we both have to go to Rogue's Den, and like, just just as a backup if one of us fails it, because okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna have the body in a sec. All right, it's dead. Brilliant. Do I just click these Thank things? God. Do I just click these things? Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, that's not working. No, nah, I'm actually done with you. Oh my bro, God. Bro, bro, bro. Okay, go do DK. I'm go do DK's dumb. quick. Go do DK's quick, bro. You're gonna be mad tight, fam. The amount of times I've heard the words trust me, and then literally the first trap he fails, and I'm like, you don't actually know how to do this, do you? Okay, let's see what happens if I click there. What? Oh my no, you god. Don't you know, you avoid those squares. Oh, okay. Oh, f I see come 73 here. Oh no. Follow him. <laughs> no, he messed up. He messed up. <laughs> what? I'm such an idiot. Uh, I'm co I'm coming to do it now. So. Yeah. Right. 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 And uh, click before the trap. Like click the square. Like on the spike. I assumed I knew how to do the rogues then because I had done it a bunch on Trailblazer League to get some points on there. So I assumed I knew how to do it. Rocked up. Realized very quickly I did not know how to do it. Like click on the spike. The square. Uh, forward now. No, 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 what? no, 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 You click on the blade, like, the blade, like, one square. Yes, thank God for that, f 
fuck me. Okay. Okay, now what do I do? Now what do I do? Now what do I do? I was trying to get through the DK's maze whilst trying to explain how to do Rogue's Den, which was just not ideal at all. Like, I was like, okay, click there, click there. It was so hard to explain where to go, and this idiot kept failing and failing. I was like, nah, I, I actually give up. No, no, no! I triggered a wall trap, dude. Uh, oh, that's oh, it. Yeah, we Oh, my God, it. bro. We have... It. Yes, you can. Oh, you can't run over. Oh, Wait, back at the start. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I just got kicked out. On the what, bro? No, on the screen, not in your invent. There's no click there's on the no. door and click I on Yes, it I'm... is on the top right of the screen. There's nothing there. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Match. The thing there. It doesn't match. You triggered a oh, trap, my... bro. What are you talking about? Alex told me to pick up a tile. It was the wrong tile. And then he got mad at me because I failed, but he told me to pick up the wrong tile. Rogue's Den was probably one of the worst things we could have got because neither me or Guns Chili knew what we were doing. We haven't done this in years and it's pretty complicated. So we're just scrambling around, just trying to wing it. Then we pull up a guide. It, oh, it's just going to absolute rubbish right now. Please. Get in, put the box in. Yeah, loot barrel chest, you're doing that. Craft a green dead body. I'll do the barrel chest if you want. I'm, I'm lad, I'm telling you now. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Okay, go, go, go. Most important part of this is working with your teammate to kind of get tasks done around the same time so that both of you will finish and both of you will contribute an equal amount, get them done around the same time, and the entire time brainstorming to figure out the fastest way to get these done. Is that the last one? Is that the last? Are these the last ones? Are these the last ones? I guess. Let's see. Is there anything we Double, missed? double, double check. I'm catching the chins now. Okay, I got the chin. Okay, I'm trading right now. Uh, I think this is it then. Right. We don't have to trade him. No, we don't have to trade him anything. Yes. We have to trade him to let him know we're done. We have to let him know we're done. Yeah, yeah, I know, know. I know, I know. By trading. Are you there? Yep, 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 yep. 5-11, nobody else is here. Uh, really? Come okay. On. All right, I'm hopping now, hopping now, hopping now. Hopping now. Vertoso just traded, Vertoso just traded, Vertoso just traded. Okay, okay, I, just traded. I, I don't I, know who that is. I traded him. Oh, there's so much relief knowing that Vertoso and Tanzu did not win that challenge because I saw him teleport in. I thought that Tanzu may have been logged out and they were trolling us, but it turns out we did win. I'm so happy that we're going through to the next week and don't have to worry about a banning. There's no way he's gonna catch me. Oh, he didn't catch me. Yeah, go trade two, go trade two. I think I've done that. I've done Rogue's Den on like four accounts, but I just brainlessly follow a YouTube guide. I did not know how to do it. I had no idea. We didn't have a strategy really. We should have. Um, that was our, our pitfall. We just kind of went for them and fumbled along the way. Zulu and Verf are here. Yeah, we have one. Oh, we're going to be in the banning much later. Teleport to the Jewel Arena and I see Zulu and Verf already there. Worst case situation, we haven't won. I am 100% expecting to be appearing in this banning today. What you do now then? I'm just got to craft this green dead body and I'm done. Right, whoever finishes first does the Zora, or we'll just both do it and see who does it faster. I said to Dave, I was like, Dave, I'll gear up for the Zora run as well. We'll both do Zora together, and then whoever completes it quick enough, we can just tell you out straight away. And Dave said, no, I've got it, Jen. You finish the Barrows run quickly now, trade soup, and I'll meet you there. So that was the plan. Uh, oh my, yeah. You might as well just let me do it. Well, I mean, what, what, like, I have nothing better to do right now. I have kill these, I'm gonna hit me f***ing nose. So, things are going quite nicely, we're doing our tasks, everything going smooth, nice communication, and then I went to Zulra and things went slightly downhill, shall we say. No, I just died, because I don't have recoil. Oh, you should have just tell you it out, Dave, it would have been ten times quicker. I like how you say this after I do it.
Uh, well, you... Why don't you say that at the start? Right, f***ing common sense. You've not got a recall. You're not going to f***ing kill it, are you, with a 770k setup? You're going to f***ing scrape it anyway. I'm there, mids all right. No recoil. Forgot the recoil. At which point, Jim decides to say, why don't you have a recoil? And I die. Next thing you know, he forgets his recoils halfway through the trip. There's a little bit of a commotion going on there where I'm saying, how do you forget the recoils you don't f***ing, basically? I've been quiet. All I'm saying is I've been quiet because I don't want to put you under any pressure, Dave. Yeah, but then if you know you know I'm missing something, why don't you say it? I didn't know you missed anything. I, I, I was trying to remind you of stuff. If it was my decision, I would have had both of us go to Zora and try and kill it, and then whoever did it fast enough, we then both teleport, and that would have saved a load of commotion. But no, Dave knows best, obviously. I knew that death had probably cost us the video, and I was trying my best to gear up quick, which wasn't really happening. It was very silent, at which point Jen decided to pipe up give me a bit of grief but I knew exactly that it was between me and Ditter and every second was going to count. It's still, still going to be a while. Yeah, trade him, trade him. Boom, right, we're not lost. Sound. <sighs> bro, you're yeah, a grown man, bro. Back. Stop crying because I don't know how to do the f***ing rogues then. No, bro. like we'll just every wait challenge. Yes. Sh I hadn't even started the DK's maze and Ditter was already doing Rogue's Den. So in the time that I did the DK's lair, I also completed Rogue's Den before he could complete it. That was the eight seconds that Tanzu got there. So that's why we lost <laughs> because Ditter was still in the den. Welcome back from completing a pretty intense achievement diary. Well done to Zulu and Verf for winning their first golden aprons of the season. Oh, oh yes, finally. We wanted an apron so bad uh, this season, so we were really happy. We were like cheering, I think, and we were safe. We've now had seven teams win golden aprons. The level of competition and skill this season is amazing. Ditter and Torvesta, since you placed last in today's challenge, your team will automatically have one vote heading into today's banning. Let's go. Typical. It was actually going so well because I killed Solar Mission in last month's standing and I killed Zora and Barrows really quickly. But I think if like he had a clean Rogue's Den run and I was able to concentrate on DKs instead of explaining to him what to do, I, I reckon we actually could have actually come first. All right, for the final time this season, you will all head to the Cove and cast your vote for which team you'd like to send into the banning. On your way there, discuss with your teammate which team you'd like to vote for. Have fun. Yo, toss that sh solo mission, bro. Solo mission. Yeah, I guess it's difficult because I feel like Zulu and Verf are gonna apron solo. I'm gonna have to vote solo just in case aprons Tanzu. We'll be voting for Ditter and Torvesta. They're gonna vote for us. It's gonna be us versus them in the final. We just gotta deal with it and hopefully try and win. Ditter, Vita, and Torvesta. I don't think it even matters. I already know we're gonna be in the banning, so. We're having to go back on the Young Savages here to cover our own backs because they are definitely apron in solo, so it's gonna be Ditter and Tor. I feel like a traitor. I'm sorry. I'm going to vote for Ditter and Torvesta. I'm gonna to have to cross the, the Young Savages Alliance. I, if we don't vote for them, there's a chance we can end up in the, in the banning because I'm pretty sure Zulu and Verf are gonna uh, apron solo. Welcome back from the Cove. As expected, two teams received votes, Solo and Guns Chili and Ditter Bitter and Torvesta. But receiving five votes and heading into their fourth banning of the season will be Ditter and Torvesta. Come on up. I was actually just informed recently that the first ever banning, the one which we got 13 or 11 votes in, that was the first time that me and Soul Mission actually talked about forming an alliance together. And I've just been informed that he was the one who got everyone to vote for me. Right from the beginning, he was staking me. I didn't even know that. I just want to go in an elimination versus Soul Mission. I want to be the one who takes him out. 
Okay, Zulu and Verf, for the first time this season, you guys get to send one team straight into the banning. Will you be sending in Solo and Gunstrilly, or Tanzu and Vertoso? <laughs> Solo mission! Yeah! And Gunstrilly. They threw us no, in, we gotta, we gotta uh, you know, yeah. cast it back. As expected. He betrayed us, we gotta betray him back. Mr. Solo mission gonna go in the banning. Knowing the teams left, hopefully if we get Solo Mission's team or Databitter's team out, it will be a win for us considering the future potential challenges. Solo Mission and Guns Chili it is. We were absolutely positive that we were gonna be going into the banning. We had a quick chat together to establish what we should do next, how we're gonna play this, who we're gonna vote for. But in the end, it never really mattered because we knew that we would probably be up against Ditta and Torvesta. Well, I guess it was always going to come down to this. What a lineup for this elimination. I would not want to lose this. This is the biggest banning yet. Two members of the Young Savages, or ex-Young Savage members. And if we can send Solo home, this is massive. He is probably the strongest member out of the entire game. During today's challenge, I noticed all of you having fun completing a certain task. It required precise clicks and staying calm under pressure. For those of you that completed it as a task for the Achievement Diary, hopefully you remember how to do it and how to explain it well to your teammate. Today's elimination is called Going Rogue. You four will be racing through the Rogue's Den. To win, be the first team to have both members completed. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god. That's, that's the joke, surely. The shortcut in the middle of the maze is not allowed. You have to complete the whole thing. No rune light plug-in, no tile markers. You'll each be allowed one sip of stamina before you go in, but if you run out of energy, well, good luck. Don't forget, if you fail any obstacle, you'll be sent straight back to the beginning of the maze. The team that loses is permanently banned from the Gilinar games with no chance of redemption. I thought it was a joke at first. Like, cause I told Sue how bad bitter is at Rogue's Den. And then he says Rogue's Den is the banning. Really? Rogue's Den, are you serious? The worst task on the entire list. Neither me or Tom really know what we're doing here. This is absolute chaos for us. All comes down to not making a mistake. Hopefully we can have a clean run here. I'll give you guys five minutes to prepare and we'll meet at the Rogue's Den. You remember what to do. Don't? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. But just talk, 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 like talk me through. Yeah, like it's a quest guide. Like it's a quest guide. As long as we're like hopefully very close to each other, so then we can do things together. In the five minutes prep time that we had, we quickly jumped in a call, and I was telling him every single little thing he needs to click. Click here. Don't just run through. Search this trap. I was telling him absolutely everything in that little five minute window. So, so that way we can't misclick, okay? Yeah, so remember, yeah, yeah. on the spikes, click, you know, the tile before. Don't just click over them. Mm -hmm. We hop to a different world and he runs me through the entire thing. And he's like, click here. Make sure you don't click here. Make sure you click here. And I'm like, okay, okay. I'm trying to like, I'm studying for a final exam that I'm fairly sure I'm going to fail. And he's just, he's just trying to get the point across, make sure I know everything. And I'm like, yeah, bro, don't worry. I got this. I, I was very scared that one misclick and we're gone. So the elimination challenge was something we had previously done within the original challenge, which was to complete a full lap of the Rogue's Den minigame. This time, though, we all had to do it on the same world together, which complicates things. Bear in mind, on all the doors and stuff, the part don't, finding is don't sp yeah, and don't spam the um, like the bars. Torvester and Dirt Bitter are on a 3-0 banning streak, but let me tell you, I have won those challenges for them behind the scenes because I wanted them to get to this point. It's pretty much the best opponents we could be against at this stage, so hopefully they just mess it up one more time. All right, guys, this is it. Massive banning. The first team to have both members complete the Rogue's Den, win today's banning, and stay in the game. Don't be the one to mess up. On go. Three. Two. One, go. I'm just gonna spam click it. Oh sh So don't, don't spam it, don't spam it, don't spam it. Okay, nice, you got it. Okay, I got it. Oh, that was good. Did you get it? No. Okay, okay, just make sure you get it. Uh, I'm last. 
say. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm first, so it's fine. Not a great start because on the first trap, only one person can go through. Fortunately, Ditter was first, but I was last. So I had to make up a bit of time. Just try and catch up. Well, I mean, do the best you can, obviously. That's, that's all, aren't you? I could do with being first and, and tell you what to do. We are having a nightmare right now. We've fallen behind slightly, but all it takes is a few lost takes and a few wrong turns, and we can do this. We can win. <gasps> no, no, it's okay, it's okay. You can come back, you can come back. The three tiles, you're supposed to walk over three tiles, but I walked over four tiles, which means the trap hit me and I had to reset the run. Solar Mission's a really nice guy. He was really assuring me, saying, no, it's fine. He was saying, this is Ditter and Torvesta. <laughs> They're going to mess it up. <gasps> no, no, it's okay, it's okay. You can come back, you can come back. You got it, you got it, you got it. That'll f up, that'll oh, f up. no. It's okay, just like be relaxed on your way back. Okay. No, I see Guns Jelly. He goes down on an early trap. But at least it's early. I'm positive. I'm a positive guy. I'm like, it doesn't matter. Just be consistent. These two will mess up at some point. It's right at the start, so we're good. All you've got to do is just be consistent, get back up there, and get to that finish line. It's definitely far from over at this point. Yes, someone failed. I wasted some time. Uh, okay, okay. Guns chili died. Uh, failed. Okay, okay. Oh, no, nice, nice, nice. That's good. Just take your time. Take your time. Because we've yeah, got yeah, this. Yeah. As long as we don't fail, we've got this because he failed. I see Guns Chili fail. I'm like, yes, we've won this. All we need to do is just please, Ditter, please, please do not mess up. And we've won this. It doesn't matter. He can't catch us up. We can take our time. Just don't mess up and we've won this. Don't game run quicker all you have to do is take take your time don't rush anything remember this you click the tile before don't just run through it Shit, dude no it's fine it's fine don't worry about it no, i'm watching tour Vesta right now one wrong move and he, they're like set to the back of the line yes. i don't feel that's the thing wait did he fail did, oh no did so much fail too no no i thought he did i'm ahead of oh, him you can't get me getting me hyped up him. like that fam no okay, no okay, i thought okay, he did okay. i thought he did because he, okay, he, okay, he, okay. he searched the trap as long as we don't mess up, we have like a permanent advantage in distance over Guns Chili. Soul Mission's doing his best, he's doing well, but Guns Chili's all the way at the beginning and we have like 20 to 30 seconds on him. So Alex is just telling me, don't mess up, don't go quick, just go slow, we've won, we've got this. You don't have to do anything. I think you need to wait for me. Wait, listen, wait listen, for me. I'm good, bro, I'm good, I'm good. I'm telling you I'm good, fam. I'm telling you I'm good, no, bro. No, because if you fail, Ditter, wait for me. There's no point because Guns Chili's that far behind. They're not, he's not gonna catch up. Wait for me, I don't want you to fuck up. Maybe if I like keep taking that tile, do you reckon I can um, f over? Like if I try and hold us both there by doing that. I'm keeping up with Tulvester and Ditter, but I'm playing it pretty safe. I don't really care about beating these two right now because the whole challenge depends on one of those two falling down. I get to the tile spawn before Tulvester and I start spam clicking the floor. I want to keep picking up this tile, slowing him down. Nah, I got it. He tried he try f***ing me up. Did so you get the, did you get the first it. tile? Did you get the first tile? No, basically he tried he tried, he tried waiting there to take all the tiles so so Gunstilly could catch up. That was his tactics. But now I'm ahead of him. Oh, what an idiot! What an what an idiot! You can I'm telling you. Dine. I'm telling please. you I got this, bro. Have some faith. Have some faith. Yeah, I've heard that before. Ditter, please. Ditter, please. Please, if there's one thing you can do this game, just don't mess up this one time. They call a rising sun. It's been the ruin of many poor boys.
all it takes is one mess up and, and if one of the a bit of auto of Esther failed and they appeared outside that was it they're then behind so it didn't really make a difference whether gun chili failed okay grab the flash powder remember wait for the animation then run we're going the right hand side okay okay so click on him first don't walk through click the flash powder then on him then through if you get past okay, this I threw it. I'm running. please i'm begging you i'm through i'm through i'm through i'm through please ditter it's time for the flash powder boys. Oh, it's just three. I may as well just take this slowly. There's no point in me rushing it. One of them has to get kicked out, otherwise we're gonna lose. Yeah, I think it's over. I've done it, I've done it, I've done, I've f***ing done, I've f***ing done. Oh, 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 finished first. Oh my god. Holy s***. It's crack wall done. save, yeah? Crack wall save. Yeah, crack wall save. Done. Okay, done, 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 done. Done? Peace solo mission, <laughs> peace solo mission. I wanted you, fam. I wanted you solo mission. Yes! I can do rogue dead. Yes! Like, I can do rogue dead. Anyone can do rogue dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, we've done it. I could not control myself. Like, oh my. God. I was just not expecting to win it because in the challenge, Ditter failed it like five times and it took him like 20 minutes to complete one. And we're against the two most powerful members. So to send them home, oh my God, I could not control myself. Solo could be done here. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Obviously, he's been one of the favorites in the start, and I was under the impression that he was my one of my good friends and teammates right from the beginning. But now that I know that from the first ever vote he had voted me, it just makes it all the more fulfilling. Taking out a top competitor and the biggest snake in the Gilinor games. I'm not gonna complain. Oh well, it is what it is, mate. It is what it is. I get to the finish. But unfortunately, I can see that both Torvesta and Ditter have already finished. So, unfortunately, that's me gone. And poor Tom's right at the back. Finishes his run. Respect to him. He keeps going. But that's it. We are out. I was absolutely gutted. I felt bad. I felt like I let my teammate down. But at the end of the day, I don't think any of us, that includes Torvesta, Ditta, Tanzu Vitoso, and Solo, and myself, I don't think any of us would have gotten as far without each other. It was a shame that we had to end the Alliance the episode before. It's doggy dog, as they say, Snoop. And we had to be ruthless last week, and our opponents were ruthless this week. That was insane. Only one failed obstacle from either team the entire time. Ditter and Torvesta, I've got to hand it to you. When it comes to eliminations, you guys just don't know how to lose. Me and Ditter told everyone, all the participants in the very first banning, we will remember this. We said you shouldn't have voted us in. You can't get us out. You've earned yourselves a spot in the semifinals. Congratulations, you can rejoin the group. This banning was an upset, although I'm happy to see Gunshilly and Solo Mission knocked out. They are a fierce team. The only scare now is if there's a PvP challenge. Solo Mission and Gunshilly, what an amazing team. You guys were an absolute highlight this season. Such a strong team, always placing towards the top, stirring up controversy. It's exactly what I was looking for in a team this season. I hate to see you both go, but I'm sure we'll see you again in the future. This season was amazing. It was so great to be paired with someone on an individual basis and get to know them so well. I knew Solo Mission kind of well. We hung out at RuneFest sometimes, but I actually think we've bonded quite a lot throughout this whole process. And he's a really cool guy. And I learned a lot from him and I had, I had a really fun time. This season, I saw us as a very strong team. In fact, I think we've been the top three every single episode. So we just had to ally with many people, getting people's DMs, that sort of stuff. And in the end, we only ever had two votes for us in the banning. That is an incredible record. And I honestly wouldn't change a thing. I was happy to be in this top four with these teams. Otherwise, I wouldn't have got them to come with us. So yeah, couldn't have played it any differently, but that's just how banning goes sometimes. And that's how it is. Unfortunately, we are out. I hope you guys have enjoyed us being little snakes because that's what it's all about, having fun. Your time here on this season has ended and you've been permanently banned. Take care.
I could basically hear a solar mission hissing as he left the call. And one thing I want to say as well is uh, solar mission said that, you know, the only reason me and Dave are in there is because he allowed us to still be in the Gilanor games. And But it's a bit funny that, isn't it? Considering the fact that we're still in it and we're in the semi-finals and they've just gone home. So that's a bit crazy. It's, a, it's crazy how, how life works, isn't it? You play the game, it comes back to bite you in the arse, you know? I consider Solo my biggest competition. And the reason for that is because that team has very similar abilities. So with them gone, right now we have three teams left and every team has very different skills, which I think is really interesting. Congratulations to the final three teams. You guys are very close to that final. And let me tell you, with the size of this prize pool, I would not want to lose this season. For next week, party at my house. See you there. To start this season out, I didn't really know Verf that well, but we've come to know each other pretty well. We work very well together. I think he's a great teammate. I think we've got this. We're going to go forward and we're going to try to win. I'm happy to go into the final with Tanzu and Vitosa. Surely they want Zulu and Verf out more than me and Ditter. We've been working together and like they've snaked us both out. We can work together and get Zulu and Verf out. I'm absolutely buzzing, right? Because anything can happen in this last challenge, the semi-finals of the Gillenor games. Next week, we're going all out, full on Tanzu Vitozo beast mode. And we're gonna win it and bring it home for the boys.